I have an ice maker and in the door water dispenser on my refrigerator and because it's an older model on this fridge I have an inline filter that is on the rear of the fridge or external to the fridge. A lot of the newer models have the water filter cartridge actually inside of the one of the doors on the front uh, to where it's really easy to change but mine is actually an inline filter and I'm going to show you how to change that uh, as part of another video and give you a good example uh, as to why you want to flush that filter really well. A lot of people don't realize that those filters have to be flushed. They actually have uh, charcoal-like uh, substance in them and you want to make sure you get that all flushed out. This is just a shot of my new water filter cartridge. And you can see I've actually marked on mine with a Sharpie right on the filter the date that I'm actually changing it so I can tell easily at a glance behind my refrigerator uh, when was the last time I changed it and that way I'll know also uh, when is the next time that I need to change it. I also make a note of this uh, in several places on several calendars. I've got a maintenance calendar on my iPhone that I keep for my home maintenance and I'll mark that in there as well. I also note, and if you can see here, the water filter cartridge number that my refrigerator requires. I also keep a photo and a file with that information on it on my computer and in my iPhone as well. So I'll know next time that I need to replace it, I can go to the store and easily uh, get the appropriate filter. Okay, again, for this uh, maintenance item, you wanna make sure your refrigerator is off in the off position. I've got mine unplugged. You can see the cord laying there next to the water line. And before changing your filter on your water line, you wanna make sure that the water supply is off. And on mine, it's just a small valve in the wall. And you just simply turn this on off knob crossways of the line as you can see here, and that is in the off position. You're still gonna get a little bit of water that's actually in the line, so it's a good idea to actually have a bucket handy, as I've got here. It's a small, like a two gallon bucket, and this bucket's also gonna come in handy for when we're flushing the new filter that we're installing. Okay, you can see on mine, I've got the old one disconnected, and I've got one end of the new one installed on the line already. You want to make sure you pay attention to the water flow direction on the cartridge itself. There'll be some small arrows indicating which way the water flow is. Don't put one of these filters on in reverse. You won't have uh, as good a results with it if you do. And I'm also, before I hook the end up, my ends incidentally are just a quick disconnect end on them as you can see here. They just snap on and, and snap off, but they uh, before I put the end on uh, of the water line that's actually going into the fridge, I'm going to flush this new cartridge out. And by doing that, I simply mean that I'm going to run about a gallon or two of water through it. And you'll be able to see why here in a second I'm actually doing this. Okay, I'm just running the water straight into a, a bucket that I can take and dump outside. But as you can see, there's quite a bit of uh, charcoal in this filter still. And by flushing it out, you're not getting all of that residual uh, charcoal, if you will, from this filter in your, your refrigerator. It won't be in your water lines and in your ice maker. It's also a good idea to go ahead and let the ice maker run for a good 24 hours after you do this and dump that batch of ice out as well. That way, if there's any uh, residual charcoal in the ice, uh, you're not using it, you know, for beverages and things like that. Okay, what I've done now is I've finished uh, flushing my new cartridge. I've got the supply side and the service side, the line going to the fridge, actually hooked up. And I've turned on my water supply at my valve. It's back on. And I'm just basically checking and making sure that there's not any leaks or loose connections where water is going to come out. <music>